Hi guys, join me today as we give this narrow hallway a brand new makeover. I might regret this. When me and Leon moved into this house, the hallway in particular was very cold, dark, and very unwelcoming overall. And I tried to make some changes to it by adding in a rug and adding some coat hangers to the space to try and give it a little bit of something, to make it a little bit more welcoming or to make it feel a little bit warmer, but it just wasn't doing the job. So today I'm going to tackle it and make it feel the way we want it to feel. So join me today as we transform this hallway and make it a warm, welcoming space. I began by mixing a few different colours together to get a shade that I was happy with, then painted this old shoe cabinet that we had. Then I cut up a few lollipop sticks and added them to the drawers to give a nice little herringbone effect. I sprayed the handles and the feet, first with brown and then followed with some gold spray. This was to give a nice kind of bronze colour effect to it. I wanted to bring a big, large mirror into the space here to help open it up and to help reflect the light around the area considering it was quite a dark space. So I found this big piece of mirror actually for free online on a site called Nushkala which is similar to Craigslist or Dundeal. So me and Leon put a lot of glue on it and stuck it to the wall. How adorable! You sweet heart you. I wanted the eyes to have a focal point when they walked into the hallway and so I decided to paint the door on the opposite side black. Here's a little tip for you. If you have windows or doors with the same framing as this, rather than having to tape every single box, I found it much easier to just double up on a piece of paper and I could stick it in between the frame and it worked perfectly. Basically we have these two big pieces of paper, although one is black and one is white, and I don't want them to be either colour, so we're going to paint them first to give them a different background. And the goal is to make something that's kind of minimalistic, that's kind of neutral tones and colours. So that's where we'll begin, we're going to paint these, and then see from there. Now I'm no artist, but if you are looking to save on some money rather than buying art yourself, just buy some paper and paint the art yourself. If you're like me and you're not really great at art, you can do some abstract art. I find this the easiest and you can make mistakes and nobody would ever know. I didn't really know what I was doing here. I just kept adding paint until I started to get colors that I liked. And here I added some wall filler to give a kind of 3D textured effect. Really, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. I was just kind of having some fun and seeing what would come of it. I got these gold frames for one euro each at a flea market and the black frames I bought at Ikea. I would just like to point out how many times I've put nails in the wall thinking I've, I've figured out where I want to put photos. We've got one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Hopefully this time is the winner. They're not all the same measurements. <laughs> to 
make the frame for the mirror, I just cut up some wooden dowels that I had bought and then I glued them on using some universal glue and wood glue. So I've decided to go ahead and varnish the frame and I know that I should have done this beforehand, before putting on the mirror, but I wanted to see if I liked this colour first and I think it's just a little too light so we're going to darken it up a little bit and make it blend in better with the space. I like to make things a little more difficult for myself. We're also going to paint this because it's the same colour as the mirror frame so they kind of have to match a little bit more and this just looks off. That looks good. I couldn't find an affordable rug so I had this runner lying at home however I don't like it. I turned it over and on the other side I felt like this is something I could work with. So instead of buying a new runner for the hallway, I decided just to flip this one over and use the other side. It'll do until I can afford one. So although the makeover is nearly done for the hallway, I've been looking at this and going back and forth in my head over and over and over again. Should I change the colour? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? I mean, it looks nice as it is, but actually I don't think it fits well enough with what I'm looking for for this space. And so I think I'm going to change it. This could be a really big mistake, but I think I'm going to try. Because every time I walk past this, I think, mm, I'm just not loving it. So if I'm not loving it, I have to try something new, yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. So I decided to go with this kind of dark terracotta look. After I painted it, I found it to be a little flat and boring. So now I'm going over with some dark varnish, and then I'm going over the varnish with a shoe brush to kind of give it a little bit of texture. This will also help to darken the colour a little bit as I found it just a little bit too light. Don't worry about the paint that's on the herringbone there. It was me testing something out. I don't like it and we're going to sand it back. So I found this corner a little bare so I decided to add a tree into it which I had DIY'd myself and I can show you how to do that in another video. And next all I had to do was put everything together and we were finished. This is not a piece of paint on the wall, this is actually a huge centipede that Leon has now decided to call his pet Pepco. I want it gone but I'm, I'm terrified of it and also I didn't want to kill it so we just left it there. So we can just ignore it, pretend it's not there, <laughs> focus on the hallway. Let me remind you how it used to look before and now after. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see how I made one of these trees, then stick around for the next video as I will show you how to make one in a step-by-step -step tutorial. So keep an eye out for that one. Until next time, 